Is there trouble brewing in Sicily? First Etna erupts and then just a few hours later a magnitude 4.8 is shaking the region as far as Malta and Spain. So what is going on? And for those who think, oh yeah, Etna is continuously erupting, that's no news. I warn you guys, Etna is very, very dangerous, not because of its eruptions per se that can also become more dangerous, and it is kind of increasing its eruptive activity. Etna is breaking a Part. A shocking study has found out that Etna is sinking into the sea and it could collapse like a massive, massive, huge part of Etna could break away and trigger a gigantic tsunami. You should watch that video, I'll put it in the end screen, because the structure and what is happening with Aetna, I can say this in just a few words, this is really, really important stuff. But since we are aware of that danger, we specifically need to look at that earthquake and we need to look at Aetna, because that could have a relation, this earthquake could trigger a stronger eruption of Aetna. A strong earthquake did shake Calabria and Sicily early in the morning. Residents did report feeling the tremors of this magnitude 4.8 earthquake in the southern Ionian Sea. It was morning at night, late at night or early in the morning, whatever you want to call it. Residents were sleeping. And like I always say, in Italy, Campi Flegre, the big earthquakes mostly happen at night for some reason. And that's even more scary. So shock waves were sent by this earthquake and it startled residents awake. So it was recorded by the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, the INGV, as a 4.8. Some others have it as a 4.6, but something in that range. Epicenter, as you see here on the map, in the southern Ionian Sea, situated at a depth of 48 kilometers. And reports indicate that the tremors were felt most acutely in cities Catania, Reggio, Calabria, Messina, Ragusa, Syracuse, Modica, Augusta, Acireale, Avola, and Noto. And despite the intensity of the quake, the good thing is there have been no reports of injuries or damage to property so far. But the suddenness of this earthquake caught many residents off guard and it has really led to a night of fear and confusion amongst the residents. What is this? Many of them most likely thought that maybe Etna is blowing up or breaking apart because this is happening. Etna is sinking and that tsunami that this could cause is devastating, could be devastating. Again, watch the video, you will not regret it. So fear and confusion amongst the residents. The local fire brigade received numerous calls from residents that were seeking information, what's going on, and of course, reassurance about this seismic event. And also, it was going wild on social media platforms with comments and reactions as people have shared their experiences of this earthquake. So users have flooded Instagram, Facebook, X with posts. And uh, it has, if you, if you look at all together what they're saying, it, it was a collective, you can really call it that guys, a collective anxiety that has accompanied the event. Because I think they were worried that Aetna might be involved. And this is not ruled out that this could trigger something at Aetna. So seismologists, of course, promptly started monitoring the situation and trying to assess the potential for aftershocks or even the beginning of a seismic swarm. I mean, the people in this area they have heard what happened at Santorini, what is happening at Campi Flegri. Of course, they're worried. And, you know, overall, this area is a very dynamic area. The geological dynamics of the Ionian Sea 
of course contribute to such earthquakes, primarily due to the complex interactions between two plates, the African plate and the Eurasian plate. So this earthquake was most likely tectonic. And it's like a collision and a subduction process that generates significant stress within the Earth's crust. And then when this stress is released, we see these earthquakes. So it's basically when the stress exceeds the strength of the rocks, they cannot hold this together anymore. Then the energy is released in the form of seismic waves that result in earthquakes. And there are active fault systems in the region such, such as the Alfeo fault system. And this is, of course, further increasing the seismic risk. The region per se is very vulnerable to seismic activity. And there are quite a few historical records that indicate that the Ionian Sea has been the site of numerous air earthquakes over the years with varying magnitudes and impacts on local communities. So in the wake of this earthquake, still, Emergency services and local authorities are on high alert, prepared to respond to any potential after effects. And the monitoring stations that are situated around the volcano, around Etna, this quake was making quite an appearance. It was causing a very strong signal, very sharp tremor peak. So it cannot be ruled out that this earthquake will affect Etna's volcanic activity because the volcano is already in an eruptive phase right now and it could be prone to more powerful eruptions. And don't forget, we're saying, yeah, this is a tectonic process, like plate tectonics in the Ionian Sea. That's the reason for the earthquake. And then many people might say, oh, okay, then oh, we're out of the woods with a volcano. Um, don't forget, these tectonic plates, this tectonic activity is responsible for the volcanic activity on Sicily. This is what's causing these volcanoes. Of course, right now it was triggered by movements along the Ionian Fault one of the most important fault zones in the Ionian region. This is a fault that runs northwest, southeast, passing through Sicily, north of Mount Etna. And then there's a counterpart running south of the volcano, the Alfeo Etna Fault. So more faults. And basically, Mount Etna is getting the effects of both faults that are related to the collision of the African and the Eurasian plates. So could that rumbling have done something to the crust and the rocks over the magma chamber of Etna? Could we see a stronger eruption? Could that shaking have made rocks brittle so that it gets easier for more magma to reach, reach the surface? It is all speculation. But we have to be careful because in my opinion, especially since if you have watched my previous video about the danger of Etna, every rumbling, and this was a strong rumbling, can make an already breaking situation at Etna more disastrous. And we do not yet know if this earthquake had any effects on that big area that is breaking a part of Etna. So in my opinion, I'd be careful to see what the results are, if they can give us any new information about the stability of that whole area. And this is massive. Watch the video in the end screen, guys. If you like this video, please leave it a like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, I have a buymeacoffee.com slash silky site. Of course, thanks for the supers you're sending me here on YouTube. If you want to support the channel as a monthly member, click the join button or the link in the description. You're getting behind the scenes videos, private information about me, my animals, my farm, my life. And uh, yeah, guys, again, Here's the end screen, here's the video, and also my latest upload. So 
In order to be able to watch all these interesting videos, go to my channel page and just scroll through and, and find what's interesting for you. I see you there. Stay safe. Bye-bye.